after last episode's disappointing egg levels, I feel like um, I'm obligated to go back there so I can get better eggs. But hello everyone, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, where I need to rush to get that fucking red rub. I'm too sure if I did a little montage or not, but maybe I did. Well, I've been, um... Bruh. I've been collecting a lot of drops. I've been, um, saving a few tapes, but, uh, yeah. Finally got ourselves a berry gatherer. We got ourselves a, an egg key. And, um, yeah, I put it to work. I got a little bit of the metal smelted already. I feel like I want to get, like, um, enough to make the Indie Forge here soon. I did make sure to repair this for the episode. Turns out if you log off the server, um, like, if your tribe is offline, the, uh, the generator does not deteriorate, so, hey, a good tip for those who are playing online. Right, here's a bunch of shit that I found in drops, including drops that are out in the desert, um, most of it is, uh, Crap. <laughs> Nothing too useful, but, um, I did find this, uh, Ascendant Chainsaw, which is nice. I mean, I don't think it does anything. I don't think it makes a difference. But, hey, Ascendant Chainsaw. It'll last longer. <laughs> right. I feel like it's time to go back to the trench. Right, it's been an in real life day since I hatched the egg, and I waited for it to fully grow, of course, and I put it inside of the fridge so it can passively level up while I was offline because I left the server on. 170 female. Now luckily, it is a female. Because <laughs> the other one, the shitty level 20 is a male, we can actually make eggs and use the eggs for kibble. Look at it. I did take the time to actually heal it up as well. Well, for the most part, at least. 38 levels. Um, wyverns have typically terrible stamina, so try to raise that up a little bit. Maybe I'll put five more points into stamina. Maybe we'll put the rest into melee. Stick around and ride, um. Oh my god, look at this. Look at the color on it. 
It's like a dark black. A dark black. <laughs> a dark red and black. Looks really good. I like the uh, orange tint underneath as well. Very nice color for a fire weapon. It's so much faster than the other tapes. Alright, so I feel like in this episode I, um, I really want to go try and get a Thyla. Like a Thyla is very important before we try to go caving, and that's the next step. We've established a little base. Um, I do want to knock out a few things in the space in this episode as well, such as the greenhouse. Let's set that up, get it up and ready, and get an indie forge going. Because the indie forge is uh, gonna help us a shitload now that we have an Enki. First off, let's go exploring a little bit. I'm gonna try to nab some more drops along the way because, yeah, the drops in the uh, little montage that you saw, they were all pretty fucking ass. The only thing that I got off of them was uh, the Ascended Chainsaw. That wasn't really necessary either. It's raining, so it's perfect. Uh, opportunity to go into the open desert try to find a thyla over there i'm honestly not sure where they spawn i do know they do spawn right next to the oil fields oh shit we can actually kill um i think mantis and all like other creatures they not creatures insects they take extra damage to fire Damn, I do a shitload of damage, honestly. But yeah, most things do not attack wyverns. That's why I was uh, okay with just uh, going down there like that. So, it's very handy. Apparently, like, you're the apex. Or, so, oh, shit. Well, you know, that guy is more of an apex than I am. Holy. What is he doing here? Alright, so apparently they don't actually spawn in the open desert. I just checked. <laughs> they only spawn right next to the oil fields over there. Oh, 60. Um, I feel like I should actually kill them, the low level ones. Just to make sure, you know, we're spawning. I can actually land safely, they don't give a shit. Level 10. Do I need these claws? I wonder. I've actually never checked the tributes that I needed for the boss. Let me go to this drop and check it real quick. Artifact of the Crag. The Destroyer and the Gatekeeper. And just a whole bunch of Wyvern Talons. As you can also see, I've pretty much unlocked the majority of the map. Except that little triangle down there, for some reason. Um, because I was looking for the, uh, the desert loot. Just one down there. The desert loot was kind of mid. I'm not gonna lie. 15. Why couldn't you be a 135? But yeah, these levels are not it. Um, another level five. Come to think of it, there are no otters on this map. When I go caving. I'm probably only gonna get one artifact at a time this time. Ooh. 125. Can I settle? Fuck it. I'll take him home. Get as many as we can and we'll see uh, which ones get the best stats where. 25 is not that bad. Right, I feel like I'm gonna cryo everything that's in there. And I'm just going to use my entire base as the pit for now. I still everything passive. Nice. Finally. Man, I need a better rifle. It's got that cooked mutton. I'm going to repair this real quick. Alright, let's go look for another one. 55 15 Fucking 15 fuck 
120 female. Oof. Right, um. Really, should I settle for... I mean, I settled for a 125 male. As well. See how the stats are looking. Oh. 22 darts. Let's go. Let's see what kind of stats we have. Uh, 5k health isn't too bad. Uh, the melee could be more. Let's see the uh, pre-tame stats on the female. Yeah, they're not looking too good. Maybe, uh, maybe the melee will shoot up. We'll see. Again, not the best uh, levels for the tames, but... Um, Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta accept <laughs> the levels that you're given. Well, that's statement up. I'm gonna actually track it. Feel like it's time to go um, construct the greenhouse. All right, let's see what we can do here. Honestly, I could extend it from the house. Might not be a bad idea. I don't like that it's not very symmetrical. I mean, I guess I could just cover it with the foundations, but, um... Uh, doesn't exactly look too good, does it? Well, you know what, let's get cooking. I'm gonna save, uh, 600 of these in here. Feel like a door is gonna be placed right here. It'll go directly inside. See how that goes. I got a whole bunch of walls for now. There we go. Hopefully that does work, because I'm really not too sure. They're making one funky looking um, greenhouse, that's for sure. Yeah. How is this gonna work? <laughs> um, interesting. Oh yeah, oh yeah, why not? As long as it works. We're gonna have to test out if it does. Let me go check it out from outside. And yeah, that ain't too bad. It's not too bad of a design, not gonna lie. I mean, from this angle, it's not really that good, because I'm not very symmetric, but, you know. <laughs> gonna just, uh, I mean, I don't care about alignment just for now. I will take care of that later. Um, 300%. Let's go. This works. Beautiful. Let me actually check the, uh, that's that we got. Oh, it does have better melee, I believe, right? Yes. Okay, so the female did get better melee. Um, the male did get like a shitload of points into its health, so... That is a W. Um, overall, I don't think it's too bad. I think it's on par with the uh, very high level that I had over on the island, so... As long as we get the good stats on the uh, child, we'll be alright. So if you don't know, if you want to align yourself, you could use a ladder. We can back up. And then... You select whatever you want. And use the arrow key to go down. And then you can go into your... Uh, K mode. And it will be perfectly aligned. Um, two more, I'm gonna just place them, like, along the edge. And they are taking 
300% effect on each one of them. Beautiful. I do need to place a toilet somewhere, now that I think about it. You know, the toilet could go here. <laughs> the toilet could go right here. This reminds me, I think my uh, generator turns off during uh, lightning storms. Question is, does it turn back on by itself? I'm going these out. I think I'm going to leave, uh, what was it? How much do I need for the toilet? Okay, I'll just save like 200. But it's still on during a lightning storm. Is it because it's indoors? I thought they turned off. I got need to claim. Yes. All right, let's see. We got the shit health, but the good melee. Unfortunately, this one has to go. Uh, good health, bad melee. Shit. Got a fresh thylum. It's got good everything, baby. Let's go. I'm gonna cry on these two. Did I get desynced again? Motherfucker, bro. I am, yeah, I'm simply like fully desynced. No. I can open and close doors, so. Oh, cryopods don't fucking work during this. I forgot, man. Uh, you guys are probably yelling at me in the comments or some shit. <laughs> well, it's, it's over now. It's over now. Jeez, bro. Actually, not too bad. This is nice. Is it turning on and off? Oh, it's... Oh, okay. Well, it's going to take a little while for everything to be irrigated, but um, it's slowly but surely irrigating everything, it seems. Yep. Um, the wells are not very fast at um, getting water. So, not too sure what I could do about that, honestly. Doesn't have to be perfect. Oh my god. I can't unsnap, so it's kind of just going at anywhere. <laughs> I feel like this is less janky than the other variant, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go with this. How can you even tell if it's irrigated? I think, yeah, just needs to have a lot of water. I mean, I guess I could, could always just, um, get a proper source of water from all the way down there. But that's gonna be a lot of piping. Or I could go that way. Yeah, I don't know. I could honestly do that. Wow. I thought the well was um, going to be a good idea because I wanted to implement something that Scorched has added uh, to the game. I mean, it's cool, but like, it's it's way too slow for what we need. So, alright, let's go see what we can do. I mean, luckily, it's not too far away from home. Well, the piping is coming along nicely. Right. I think I'm gonna need the uh, tapiara for the rest of this. But, um, yeah, so far, so good. But I think I'm gonna go along the back so it doesn't, you know, stick out like a sore thumb. I believe this should connect everything together. Beautiful. That should be everything 100% irrigated. No need for the well. <laughs> Unfortunate, honestly. I like the well. I think that calls for a um, good old um, fertilization session. Alright, I believe that's going to be enough. Going to fill them up with uh, six each. Right. Nice. Let's get that, um, Indie Forge going. 
I wonder if preserving salts work on polymer. Beautiful. What's nice about Adobe is that it actually just gives you the guidelines. Straight up. Which is a nice feature. I think that looks good enough. Yeah, that ain't too bad. I might move this a little bit this way so we can make some space, but um, right now it's a little bit full with all the junk that I had over there, so I'm going to have to sort through everything, but I feel like I'll, uh, I'll just do that off camera. I don't think you guys should see that shit. <laughs> oh, shit. If I drop with the ring, don't mind if I do. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching today's episode. We did uh, quite a bit of progress with uh, getting the Thylo. Uh, because we are going to be using it soon. But yeah, we did manage to get the uh, greenhouse irrigated. So, that's a W. <laughs> and we also got that Indie Forge uh, up and running. So, that'll be a big fucking time saver. But yeah, if you haven't already, make sure to sub. You can always leave a like. It's very much appreciated. And if you're still listening to this, I never actually plugged this... Um, before but uh, I do have a discord and it's in the description and I do post alerts for when videos go live and when I live stream so if you're interested in that you can always join up otherwise thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one bye bye for now yes